Hey team, hope we're all safe and well on this Friday. So, I just wanted to talk today about some movement patterns using our resistance bands that will help with one arm skills like our meat hook, our straddle meat hook and our flag. I've been doing quite a few privates this morning and we found out this can really help in having an understanding of what movement pattern to do, what rotation to do while we're hanging in the air and doing these one arm skills, okay? So I'm just gonna take you through some different exercises using the resistance band that could hopefully help you with your aerial skills, okay? So, first, let's focus on the meat hook. So the meat hook, we're gonna focus on turning our little finger towards us, so working that shoulder external rotation of forearm supination. So as we rotate in, and then our free arm wants to rotate the same way, so we work it together, so it's in here, in here. So if we're gonna fold in, we're gonna go here. So we really focus on that free arm, because that's so important to help us get into these positions, okay? So if you have a, a mental focus of, okay, I want to rotate my free arm as well with my strap arm, with my hips, that's really gonna help you enter and exit these positions, okay? So sometimes it's like, because someone will say to you, okay, just put your free arm by your ear, put your free arm here. If you have a physical movement to do with the free arm, I think this will really help you get in and out of these shapes. So again, we can be in here, we can focus on just rotation, and then rotation with the free arm as well. And then we can fold it, so make it more specific. So we're in here, and back out, in here, back out, fold in, and then add hip rotation. So as we fold in, add the hip rotation and the free arm, okay? So again, strap arm, you wanna rotate the little finger towards you, and free arm, rotate the little finger towards you, so we rotate in here, okay? Again, any questions as we go, please let me know. I'm gonna be checking out Pricey's son. <laughs> this is brilliant. My old English blokes, the lads I grew up with. Um, now, with the struggle meat hook, same thing. We wanna be in a pronated grip this time, so we wanna just drive down between our legs and we wanna drive that free arm back, so we're pushing away, okay? So it's like a kind of counterbalance here. And that's really gonna help you get into the shape with driving the hips up, but more important, exiting the shape because this is where injuries can occur because people just fall out and drop out the shape, they disengage their shoulder. So really focusing on driving, pulling against the strap and pulling that free arm. So I'll just do it with my face back to you, but we can be in here and just drive back, drive back, drive back. And then you can be forward, okay? But driving that free arm back as you press through, okay? If you want to get specifics, what I like to say is, in your meat hook, turn the little finger towards you, straddle a meat hook or nutcracker, and then flag, okay? You can play, obviously, with a little bit of the wrist rotation here, but really focus on meat hook, straddle meat hook, flag. All right, so now we'll work the flag. So again, with the flag, we want to be internally rotated, slight uh, protraction of the shoulder, and we're just gonna do resistance bands, bringing our arm away, okay? So we want to keep our arm at our trouser level, and then our free arm, again, behind our head, okay? So we're just gonna work that free arm first, keeping the forearm close to the hips. So you can work these exercises first, you can go to a straight arm if you want. And then add the free arm on top. So with the free arm, you want to rotate it backwards. So we're gonna be in here, rotate the little finger backwards. So flag here, and rotate away, rotate away, okay? So we go in and rotate. So both external rotation with the hip drive. All right, so being here, we're gonna do both arms now. So being here, and rotate. Add a little bit of hip rotation into it as well. And you can look at your free arm here just to see the free arm rotating, or you can look at your bottom shoulder, whatever you feel more comfortable. Then we can drive the top leg back as well. So we can drive, back in, drive, back in, drive, back in, okay? So these are all very specific articular rotations, working that wrist rotation, working that shoulder rotation, and that hip drive in the meat hooks, the straddle meat hooks, and the flags. And then they also help with aerial fitness skills like one arm leg lifts and one arm straddle leg lifts and the 90s as if we go in the flag, all right? Any questions with these rotations, please let me know. 
and I can break them down even more in our resistance band exercises. Again, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one private online sessions for anybody who's interested. Please just give me a message and we can uh, schedule that in. Um, yeah, I'm here to help. And some exciting news. We have our new, brand new, stronger, I think sexier strap, our nylon strap as you can see here. And we also have our cinches now, okay? All available on the website, come with the straps. So any questions you have on the straps, please let me know. Again, they're home friendly, as you can see in our home gym, travel friendly and tour friendly for when we can get back on the road, all right? So yeah, available now, our new, stronger, improved straps. I'm always trying to develop them to suit your needs, okay? And again, this isn't just for circus people, this is for the fitness world as well. I'm working with a lot of different sport and fitness demographics. All right, okay, well, I hope you have a great Friday, have a great weekend. I'll just check if there's any questions. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give you a message later, son. Um, okay, right, well, have a great weekend. Let's fly into fitness. Cheers.